My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. For this episode, I am going as fast as legally possible towards Lone Wolf Mountain. Rain is on the way, and I need to get there before it starts. For this episode, this is going to be a sort of testing ground sort of thing. I have some gear that I'm going to test out, with the main focus being a tarp slash floor for a tent. I know that sounds interesting, and it is. As soon as we get to Lone Wolf Mountain, it will make more sense. Anyways, everyone, this is going to be a gear testing trip. We're going to Lone Wolf Mountain as fast as possible to get there before the rain starts. In this episode, we're going to test out some gear, make some coffee, have a good lunch, do some talking, and together we'll decide whether or not this floor slash tarp makes sense. Everybody, let's drive. Let's get to Lone Wolf Mountain. As you all can see, I have a tarp set up, and this is a strange tarp. Already, rain is falling. As far as the time goes, it is now 9.30, and folks, I've been up since five o'clock this morning preparing for this trip. Originally, this was going to be a sort of like day hike, gear test adventure, but I got up at five o'clock because I suspected the weather was going to move in sooner than what the forecast stated, and that was the case. I woke up at five, got ready, hit the road, I made it out here to Lone Wolf Mountain, and just now is a beginning to rain. We got this set up in the nick of time. Now, the purpose of this adventure is this tarp here. This is from a company called Backcountry Light, and this is a dual function product. The company claims this could be used as a floor for their tent, the Mesa tent, and they also claim it is a tarp. Well, everybody, technically it can be used as a tarp, but the real question is, should it? In this episode, we will find out. Today, we're out here for some rain, maybe some storms. Who knows what is going to happen? Together, we'll find out. Folks, let's get set up and we'll let the rain come in.
I just got my light out, and that's because it's rather dark. For 9.47 in the morning, it is quite dark out, and that's because of the storm system that's moving through right now. Already, I'm hearing some thunder, but it has been steadily raining for about 15 minutes now. Already, this tarp is beginning to show its problems, and I'm sure you've seen those already with the setup. Basically, because of the octagon shape of this tarp, there really is no way to get good protection from this. It is such a weird shape for a tarp, it's proving already that this product makes no sense. It makes sense as a floor for a tent, but it does not make sense as a tarp. I am staying dry, but the thing is this, I am cold, and that's because, first off, there's a lot of humidity in the air, a lot of moisture, it's raining out, of course. Take all of that humidity, the moisture, and factor in the wind, which cannot be blocked with this setup. That goes back to the overall design and shape of this tarp here. Now, of course, you could do some sort of funky setup, something that makes just no sense as far as tarps go. And you might be able to block the wind from around you for like one person, I could see that. But by doing so, you would throw off the shape of the rest of the tarp. I'm not even sure what that would look like, to be honest. My goal for this episode is not to make fun of the company who made this product, but to rather test out a claim of theirs. They claim that this is dual function, dual purpose, floor and tarp. Does this make for a good shelter? In most cases, in the real world, I would say no. So far, it is waterproof, but there's so many other issues, important issues, with the biggest one being the fact that you cannot block the wind. The wind is what kills you. It's not the rain, it's not the moisture, it's the wind. So for a product that cannot block out the elements, in my opinion, it's a no-go. Those are my initial thoughts, everyone. Now I'll tell you what, we're gonna be out here for quite a while, we're gonna test this out. Already though, I have to say, I am quite cold. I could lower this down to the ground a little bit more, but by doing so, I would lose all of my headroom and also the front protection. Because of the shape of this and because of the small size, this really is just about as good as I can do with this product. With it being almost 10 o'clock in the morning, I need more coffee, so folks, let's make some. This stove is incredibly impressive. Almost 12,000 BTUs. It can boil two cups of water in less than a minute and a half. And guess what? This costs $7. <laughs> A friend of mine named Pete, he found this on AliExpress for seven bucks. I bought one. It's fantastic. I mean, it really is. The design of it is a copycat of a Soto product, the Windmaster. It's almost identical. Performance-wise, it's just a little bit better, actually. Imagine that. Quality-wise, fantastic. You can find this on Amazon, but it's like $32. $7, that's a sweet spot, in my opinion.
Cheers, everyone. Cheers. You know what, folks? That looks like a bear trail to me. Before it starts raining real heavy, let's go over here and check this out real quick. You can tell the difference between like a deer trail, a game trail, and a bear trail specifically because of the size of the trail itself. Deer oftentimes, for an example, leave a very narrow trail. This trail here is huge. It's incredibly wide. And down here, I found some bear scat. Everybody, this tarp is pretty funny. I'm sitting underneath it. As you all can see, it's windy. There's nothing I can do to block the wind with this. Because of that, that is the reason right there, plain and simple, not to purchase this. It is a funky shape. If you happen to own the Mesa tent, you can use it as a floor. If you're stuck in the situation where this is like all that you have, this is better than nothing. But do not purchase this as a tarp on its own. It just does not make any sense. <laughs> I'm sitting under here and the wind is just coming right up. I do appreciate that the company's thinking outside of the box, but in this case, it just does not make any sense. As it turns out, I was correct about that trail over there. That is a bear trail. There's a big pile of bear scat over there. Pretty old, nothing fresh, but I can tell that a bear has come through recently. There's a briar that's been torn up and drug out of the forest there. Now, bears don't eat briars or nothing like that, but they will clear a path, and that's what's been done here. It's a little bit chilly, folks, especially since I can't block out the wind here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. As it stands, everybody, it continues to rain, but it's not very heavy. In fact, I'd say the rain the entire time has been light. Already, we've proved that this is an interesting concept, but it doesn't really work. You can stay dry, but that's about it. As far as the tarp goes, I'm not going to talk any more about it. I'm pretty much done with my testing as far as a tarp goes. Again, this is a dual purpose product. It's a floor for a tent, and the company claims a tarp. In a pinch, this works as a tarp, but there's really no reason to go out and purchase this over an actual tarp. Because of that, I guess you could say this is a gear testing trip. At the same time, I'm just happy to be out of the house. You know what I mean? Trips like this are fantastic. You go out, you set up a tarp, you make a cup of coffee, you sit back, you listen. It's that sort of trip. As far as the time goes, it is now 11 o'clock. Let's go ahead and let's make some lunch real quick. I'm getting hungry.
For lunch today, I have a meal from Pinnacle Foods, and this is roasted chicken and white cheddar biscuit dumplings. This smells incredible. At the same time, it feels good to hold. <laughs> Finally, it is actually raining. It's not super, super hard, but it's coming down. As far as the temperature goes today, it is currently 59 degrees, which feels really nice, to be honest. I'm afraid that this summer is going to be very hot. What do you all think? Comment down below. With the winds picking up here, I'm beginning to feel moisture coming underneath this tarp. In fact, my pants are just a little bit damp because of that. This is because this tarp is unable to give you adequate protection. It is time to eat, folks. Let's give this a shot. Pinnacle Foods, roasted chicken and white cheddar biscuits. Sounds good, smells good, and it looks good. This is fantastic. I mean, like, really, really good. Mm hmm. I don't remember if Greg sent this in or not. If you did, buddy, thank you so much. Over the years, Greg has sent in so many meals, I cannot thank him enough. Now, I tell you what, I need to do some shout outs real quick. Speaking of Greg, <laughs> Greg, my friend, thank you so much for the meals. I really do appreciate it. Janet, thank you so much for the print. That is really, really beautiful, and you are an amazing artist. I really do appreciate the fact that you shared that with Susie and I. By the way, it was great to see a picture of you. You have a very kind smile. To my good buddy V with Outdoors with V and Ashley, that's why I call him V. <laughs> you two are the best. Thank you so much for sharing what you did with Susie for her birthday. She was absolutely shocked. She had no idea and you both blew her away. Thank you so much for your kindness and your friendship. Tom from Florida. Thank you so much for the gifts for Susie and I. We both really do appreciate it. You are incredibly talented with working with wood. And those are the shout outs that I have for this episode. Those biscuits are incredibly good. Really good cheddar flavor there. Sure is quiet, everyone. Not much is moving today.
I just looked at the radar and the rain is almost out of here completely. I did hear some thunder. It got rather close at one point in time, but then died off or went around us. It is currently 1230. And I have to say, I've had a fantastic time on this very simple trip. And I hope you all have as well. When it comes to this tarp floor thing, it's an interesting idea that unfortunately just does not work in any sort of way. I was able to stay dry from falling moisture, but anytime the wind picked up, it just blew through. Because of the shape, you really can't set this up to protect yourself. As a tarp, this makes no sense. As a floor inside of a tent, it does. In truth, you could say that this adventure was a gear testing trip. Tarp, stove, I'm continuing to test out this chair. All of the components have done well with the exception of this tarp thing. <laughs> oh man. Gotta love it. As soon as the rain stops, I am pretty much done here. This is what I wanted to do with this adventure. Recently, I put up my preview of the Mesa tent, and I mentioned in that episode that I was going to do some sort of adventure with this. Now again, my plan was to do a backpacking, sort of like day hike trip thing, but unfortunately, that did not work out. The storms came in too fast, came in too early, and this was the best that I could do. Nonetheless, this rain system did prove the point that I needed to basically see. I didn't think this was going to perform very well, and it didn't. <laughs> we'll take one more sip and then begin breaking down camp. Let's go home. My friends, I want to thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I know it's been a little bit different. This was more of a gear testing trip with that strange tarp floor thing. <laughs> Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about it. What do you all think? Is that really a good tarp? Is that a tarp you should spend your money on? Is it a tarp at all? Comment down below. In my opinion, it's a floor and nothing more. Everybody, take care, be well, strength and honor. 
I will see you all around again soon. Bye for now.